DuraClean specializes in carpets and upholstery, grout, and tile cleaning. Their patented cleaning technique transforms worn out furniture, fabrics, and moldy bathrooms, and is perfect for those with allergies. We provide services in fire and smoke damage, flooding, mold elimination, contracts, janitorial, and office cleaning. For more information, visit DuraCleanBermuda.bm or call 337 5032 or 234-1799. There's a difference in cleaning, a DuraClean difference. Airlifted out of Bermuda facing critical complications on November 5th, 2013. This is Idana and Ryan Bean meeting their firstborn son for the very first time 20 days later. Emir was born weighing 1 pound 14 ounces. His brother Isai would follow through 8 days later weighing 2 pounds 7 ounces to complete the rare interval delivery of fraternal twins. Little did they know back then that the IWK Health Center in Halifax, Nova Scotia would be their new home until February the next year. When asked to reflect back to that fateful day on October 2nd in 2013, their faces go very grim. Clearly, it was a day Idana and Ryan Bean would never forget when she was rushed to the King Edward Memorial Hospital via ambulance. Eventually, she was admitted to the maternity ward listed as a high-risk pregnancy until the decision was made to airlift the couple to the IWK Center in Halifax with more questions than answers. I will never, and I can say never, I will never forget that experience. My, my, um, my son came up and he tried to cry. That's a song that I'll never forget. And with all the things that the doctors were saying about his premature lungs and how um, we didn't know what to expect when he came out and everything they said to us, it was playing in my mind. But he, he, he tried to cry out and I took that as God speaking through him to let us know. I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna be all right. I'm grateful that I was there from the beginning of everything. It was just no doubt that God allowed me to be where I needed to be at the right time. If he hasn't shown himself to be perfect, I've experienced his perfection and expanded my family. I felt so many different levels of emotion, excitement in terms of he's coming, nervousness, I find myself loneliness, uh, fear, uh, is it too soon, will something happen to me? And the reason being is they suggested due to the fact that this is pretty much a first eight days in the world, uh, they wanted to place me under general anesthesia, so um, I was very afraid because it was on my own. So I thank God for placing a nurse that was on the labor unit with me and she said, I will stay with you until you go under. And I'm sitting there with uh, elevated pressure, I'm sitting there feeling the early contractions and I'm saying, Lord, this child is coming. Mm. But I just remember saying, it's too soon, it's too soon. 
But what I have to say and what God has to say is two totally different things. And I was comforted in knowing that he really had brought me this far. And I learned the value of each day having a child stay in utero an extra day. I, from 23 days, 23 weeks to six days to 24 weeks is a huge difference. So for Esai to actually be at 27 weeks and one day, I knew all would be well when I thought about Emir 26 weeks and one day. When you see these babies today and knowing the journey that they've yes. come through fighting for life from the very beginning, yes. tell me a bit about how you felt looking at them today and reflecting on the photographs you've supplied for this story. Mm -hmm. As I reflect back, uh, as I was selecting the photos that uh, pretty much will reflect their journey from birth to this great celebration of one year. But God is all I can say because I did not operate in my own strength. It's changed you as a person, hasn't it? It has helped me to realize what is important and what is not. I don't place, I do not place no. energy where there is no return. The word talks about having that peace that surpasses all understanding. I'm a living testimony of that. I can tell you it's real. And I know for a fact that I wouldn't be able to be here today saying all that I'm saying with a joyful heart, with a heart of thanksgiving, if I didn't do that the first day of complication.